Welcome back guys, now let's work on the damage mode. Let's create a new mode and let's use the damage ID. Let's go to the mode layer on the animator. Let's find damage and we have two damage, damage left and damage right. Hmm, let's see what animation we have for damage. And on this little guy we got get hit 1 and get hit 2. Which will be the equivalent of damage right and damage left. So let's set these animations on the animator. Now let's go back to the little dino and on the damage mode let's set the correct values. Let's copy the animation tag from the animations and paste it into the mode. The cooldown parameter means that the mode can be played again after certain times. By default it's set to 0, which means the mode needs to finish the animation before playing the same mode or another mode. In this case let's set it to half a second. And let's set the new two abilities, damage left and damage right. Set the index to constant and set it to 1 and 2 for the left and right. And as you can see here the transitions are wrong for this damage animation. So please always check the transitions. The index for the damage mode is 3 and since we have two animations with the value 1 and 2 the transitions must be mode equal to 3001 and mode equal to 3002. Now let's hit play and let's select the damage sphere object to make damage to the animal. This damage sphere has an attack trigger component attached to it. And as you can see, it's only playing one damage animation. That is because the weird little bug that Unity has, I don't know why it's happening, but if you arrange the order of the transitions on the entry state, it should be fixed. Let's try this one more time. And if we hit the little dino, it should be playing random animation between the damage left and damage right. Okay, great. Now to make this a little more interesting we can add modifiers to any mode. These modifiers are a little snip of code that we can add to the modes to change some logic while the animation are playing. For example I have created this two directional damage modifier. What it does is that if the animal is hit on his left side it will play the left animation and if it's hit on the right side, it will play the right animation. Great, that is the effect that I'm looking for. Now, what happens if I want to be hit while I'm running or falling? We can create a new avatar mask for the head only, and since these little dinos have their rigs set to humanoid, we can use the humanoid mask. Let's select the head only. And now let's create a new layer, name it something like override, set the weight to 1 and choose the mask head only. Go to the damage animations, select the transitions and the state, hit copy and paste it on the override layer. Now we don't want any damage animation to be the default to play so let's create an empty state, let's call it empty and set it as the default on this state machine. Let's change a bit the transitions. Let's set that the vertical is greater than 0.1 on this layer and on the mode layer let's add the vertical to be less than 0.1. That way if we are standing still the animation will play in the mode layer but if we are moving the animation will play in the second layer but only with the head movement. To test it out, let's add some input to the damage mode. That way we don't need to use the first damage game object. But instead of using the input parameter, let me show you another way on how to activate modes. Change the button type to down, let's create a new listener on the input down, let's drag the animal script and let's search for animal mode activate. And use the same damage ID for activation. This does the same thing as if we use the same input parameter. Hit play for one more test and if we hit H, which is the key that I set, that is playing the get hit animation but only with the head, but it's not moving. So we need to enable allow rotation and allow movement. Let's give it a one more test. Now pressing H we get the whole animation if we are standing still, but if we are running 
we get the heat animation but only in the head, so that is exactly what I was looking for. Now let's create some actions. Remove secondary attack and dodge since this animal does not have any of those animations. Now this little guy only has roar animations, so we can only use that. Let's use the roar clip into the roar animation and let's remove all the others. Now if your animal have eat, drink and all the other animations, you can simply put it on the animator. Now let's create a new mode. Let's use action, set the input and the animation tag as action and make sure your roar animation has action as the tag. Now back to the action mode, let's check the effect to include and let's use only the actions where we are on idle and locomotion. Add a new ability and call it Roar and the ID I use for Roar, Hold, Scream, Car is 20 you, as you can see it here on the transition. So set that on the ability index for the Roar on the action mode. For all the actions I already have an index set it so they can work with the action zones and you can find it here on the common folder resources actions and here you can see which value every action has and for roar we have 20. Let me find a new action zone for roar here on the prefab folders zones action zone let's select the zone hole which is the the one with the value 20 now back on the triceratops if we set the active index to 0 and the default to 0 we won't be able to do any actions okay but first I need to create an action input let's create a new one let's call it action and let's set the key to the letter E let's hit play now if I open the action mode and see that the active index is 0 I'm pressing E and nothing is happening but if we enter the zone we can see that the active index changed to 20 and if I press E inside the zone we can use the roar animation the final test to this tutorial is to see if we can hit another animal Let's duplicate this little dino, let's put it in front, let's disable the malware input so we cannot control it and on general this won't be a player. And if I attack the other animal will play the hit animations and it will do it using the direction of the attack. If I attack from this size, it will play the animation of this size. And if I attack the other side, it will play the correct animation. So great, everything is working fine. But we are just playing animations. We are not making any damage. We are not reducing any health or killing the animal when the health go to zero. So on the next tutorial, we'll be adding some stats, some health and stamina.